Hello, I am King Mac, and I like to thank you all for watching this future presentation on YouTube. Be sure to enjoy a hot fresh cheeseburger with some french fries and a nice soft drink. Thank you for watching, and now here is our feature presentation of TT Burger Game Reviews on YouTube. Hello my friends, how you all doing today? Welcome back to more TT Burger Game Reviews here on YouTube. We are on episode 170, just closer to episode 200. Just closer, you, you can taste it, like a giant hamburger. And before I get started here, I want to give shout outs to once, once again to my friend Sub-Zero MNX and Free Green HD for the King Mac video for Sub-Zero MNX for providing the voice and Free Green HD for making the video in the first place where, they, where you're allowed, allowed to download, load the videos free and stuff like that and I give them credit for it so credit goes to you guys, you guys are awesome, keep up the good work definitely. And this is another two part review here, this is episode 170 part 1 of 2 and I want to talk about beat em up brawlers. Lots of beat em up brawlers. They've been around since the days of the arcades where, mind, where they're just lots of mindless fun, just beat up the bad guys get to the level to get the highest score and keep going going until you die. It's mindless less fun and just, just that's more like I say. Lots of them on different consoles like Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time, and then the Ninja Turtles arcade game and like there was also Final Fight and like more and more and more. PlayStation had a bunch of them here and we're going to, to talk about a beat-em-up brawler made by the companies Idols Interactive and Core Entertainment. And the series we're looking at today is Fighting Force be in two parts here. Part 1 we're going to look at Fighting Force and Part 2 Fighting Force 2. We have a lot to talk about here. Let's get started with Fighting Force. From the creators of Tomb Raider 3 and stuff as well and released on Halloween of 1997 for the PlayStation and 1064 and the PC. We're going to look at the PlayStation version, the only version I own. Now Fighting Force is a good beat em up. Not the best one, but still good. It is short and and it's over before you know it and make it a little repetitive, but still fun if you're into beat em up brawlers. You pick from one of four characters, Hawk Mason, Mace Dan Daniels, Al Alana McKendricks, and Ben Smasher Jackson, I'm playing as Alana McKendricks. And the story here, just basic story. You pick your character, you choose, and you're out to defeat the evil Dr. Dex Zhang, who's sending his army at his command to destroy the world, and it's up to you to stop him. There's no mention of the story in the game, so you must have the manual to follow. No, I don't really have an opinion on the story. It's just there to move the game along, and that's just that. Presentation of Fighting Force. Graphics are decent. Not the best graphics, but still decent. Character models look decent, environments look, look decent, and uses engine graphics throughout the game and stuff, and like... It's decent, like 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 a decent cheeseburger. Not, not, not the best tasting cheeseburger, but still... It's a decent, it's a decent, decent, decent looking graphics for sure. Sound really isn't much to say. There's, there's no voice setting for the most part except for grunts and screams from the characters and the enemies and like... Of course I got sound effects from like your weapons and your and the way, and the way your, the, the sound your kicks and punches make and everything and... Music is great, fits the game like a glove. And of course like, like, this person has to feel for the sound, let's move on here. Gameplay of Fighting Force is decent. It can get repetitive and short, but still has the fun factor to it. Like other beat-em-ups, your goal is simple. Beat the bad guys with your kicks, your punches, and your weapons, you fight on the ground, and just reach the end. I really like how you can interact with items in the environment and 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 the, and break them and watch them explode and just hit the buttons to kill the enemies and have, have a blast first time. You have multiple paths you can choose throughout certain levels, like one part you can go to an airport or an airbase or a subway or so, just you just choose the path and you go down there. And it just it adds more replay value to the game. The controls are simple, you just punch, kick, do a special move, and do your throw, and then there you go. 
just luck. It's like it's just simple mindless fun, especially like with the with the weapons there you have. You go through a variety of levels, killing the bad guys and the boss fights too, and the boss fights can can be a kick-ass time for sure. For power-ups, you have sandwiches and I think tortillas, and, and along with with med kits too. It, it's like kind of like like beautiful Joe, where you have the power-ups are burgers and fries. Here you get sandwiches and tortillas and med kits. It's a fun, simple game, but now I'm gonna get get to the bad. The game is fun, but it can get repetitive, repetitive after while fighting the same type of enemies over and over, and even have the same names too to repeat way too often. And nothing changes during the game, just fight and more fight, which I know is understandable, but like, it's just a little bit, bit, bit more of a more like, it would be nice to have, have some, some, something new changing the certain level and stuff. And the game is short, you can be beaten in like an hour or two, and after that, you can, you can play the game with another character, and there's not much else after that. It's still a decent game. It's not the best game, but if you if you want some some some, some mindless fun with killing the bad guys, this game is the way to go for sure. So final thoughts here: if you if you want an afternoon to noon of action for a couple hours to kill some bad guys, to take your frustration out, it, this game of Fighting Force will not disappoint you at all. The rating I'll be giving it is a seven out of ten. Not the worst score, not the highest score, not the lowest score. Seven out of ten, best score to give it for sure. That's it for this episode, part 1 of 2 of episode 170 of my game reviews. Stay tuned for the final part, we're going to take a look at Fighting Force 2 on the PlayStation and the Dreamcast. By once again, I also can write up in Core Entertainment, and how does this game fare? Find out next, which all I gotta say. If you like what you see here, subscribe, like the video, comment down below, join my Discord group, TT Bird Gamers United, and also join my new Facebook group, T. TT Burger Gamers uh, Gamers Group, which is a Facebook group where you can keep up keep up to date with the channel and find out more information. I also have my Facebook TT Burger 88 page if you want to join that too. So click on the links below if you want to join. The, the groups are getting bigger, bigger, bigger by every time. So be sure to join if you want to find out more information about about about, about what the next episode will be about and more and more. Which all you said is Tony. Peace out. Have a good day. And see you all in my review of Fighting Force 2.